All right, today we're going to take a look at setting up a nav mesh. A nav mesh will essentially tell your AI how to get around your, your map. If you already have SCR AI world in your map, you can skip to the next step, the next part of this video. If you are having a problem where the AI doesn't move at all, or it doesn't uh, move and traverse the world properly, uh, you have a nav mesh issue, uh, most likely. And this is hopefully going to help you out with that. So the nav mesh tool is this right here, this arrow tool. And right now, I cannot choose or generate a nav mesh. And that is because I do not have this in my world, the SCR AI world. Now I am on the uh, scenario framework tutorial empty that is provided by Arma. Uh, this way I can do these uh, nav meshes really fast. So we are going to click and drag the AI world entity into the map. And then what I like to do is create a layer with titled managers that I move this type of stuff into. It just helps keep it clean. So now that we have AI world, we can now view and generate our nav meshes. Okay. First, there is soldiers, BTR, and low res. Each of these tell the AI and different uh, things to do. So we're going to start with soldiers. Uh, you don't need to choose it here. The biggest one is going to be in generate. Uh, so nav mesh type, we're going to start with soldiers. The bigger the map and the more detail, the longer this will take. My map takes several minutes to do all of this. So keep that in mind. That went very fast. So it is done generating. We're going to hit save. There's no drop down box here. You're going to click other and you're going to go to where you have your mod saved. And you're going to go into your worlds. And I like to do a folder called nav mesh. Go in there. So while in your folder, I believe Arma does uh, save their stuff in worlds and generates the nav mesh in there. So if you want to keep consistent with Arma to verify that, I'm doing my own folder called nav mesh. So in the nav mesh folder, I like to name it as what my world is. So this is uh, test. No, I'm sorry. It's called I call it tutorials underscore nav underscore and we did soldiers and then hit save so now we are going to do btr and the reason i change it over here is so i can reference it later you don't have to change it here it's just in the generate all right again went super fast because it's a small map right hit save same idea, you can't choose anything. You have to click other. Go back to that folder. And we're gonna call this tutorials underscore nav underscore BTR. Uh, you can name it what you like to the best of my knowledge. Uh, this just helps me again, keep it organized, hit save. And then we're gonna go to low res, generate, low res, hit okay, okay. Hit save, the other, go back into the folder. Tutorials underscore nav underscore 
low res. All right, so now we should have our nav meshes. I like to, when I do things like that, save, exit, reopen. May not be, may not be required, but let's see where they are. All right, so now in your resource browser, in your folder, should be worlds, and then nav mesh. And then we're gonna go and click on our SCR AI world entity. And you should have three nav mesh world components in here already. This, I'm sorry, the second one and third one are proper. They have uh, nav mesh files config, nav mesh file. That is where you're gonna click and drag the nav proper nav mesh. This one has it, first one does not. So on this first one, you're gonna hit set class and you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see it's for soldiers. So we're going to find our soldiers nav mesh. Oh, uh, we're gonna need to scroll back up a little bit. Soldiers and we're gonna click and drag it onto nav mesh file, save. Go into the second one, you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see it's for BTR. So find BTR, click and drag. I like to save a lot. And then the third one, I scroll down and it's low res. And these should automatically have those options. And you click and drag that. So now, we should be good to go on our nav mesh. I don't have this set up to really test in. Um, so this should fix an issue with the AI if you're having an AI issue. Um, the other possibility, if you're having an issue where you've done all of this and your AI are still not working properly, if you are trying to uh, set this up in a sub scene, you may need to uh, do this in a, your sub scene as well. I'm not entirely sure. That may take a little bit of trial and error. Uh, the other option is if you're doing Game Master, uh, you may have to click the play button. Uh, I messed up with that myself the first time. I did all this nav mesh stuff, loaded up a Game Master, put some AI down, and they didn't move. I forgot to click the play button. So sometimes it's that easy to fix. So. Hopefully this helps you. Hopefully uh, you got what you needed out of this. Any issues, if I can correct anything, please let me know. Thank you.